The first step in creating a new newsletter is deciding which contacts I'd like to send to. I have several possibilities. I can choose to send to my currently selected address book or groups of contacts. To create a new group, I close this interface and go back to the dashboard, where I click on Contacts, Groups, New Group. Now I choose my group from the drop-down menu and click on Next Step. In the Information tab, I enter all of the general information for my newsletter. The newsletter name is an internal name and will not be seen by my contacts. The first two sections are Subject and Preheader. Both of these will be seen by my contacts, which means that they need to be creative, descriptive, and relevant. I can click on Insert Personalization to insert personalized text or placeholders in both the subject and preheader lines. Under Frequently Used, I can insert different pre-configured personalizations. The first is a formal greeting, Dear Mr. or Miss. If that's what I want to use, I select it and then click on Insert. If I want to create a custom personalization using traits that I've already created, I will click on the If Then Otherwise tab. I'll create a different greeting for different genders. To do that, I select the corresponding trait and create a greeting. If I want to insert a placeholder trait, like the first name of my contact, I click on Insert Personalization and choose the correct trait. To create another condition, for example for male contacts, I click on Add Another and repeat the process. Except for this, I'd use my male contacts. Next, I'll take care of the sender name. This will be shown to my contacts and must be filled out. As sender email, I'll enter a custom sender email address. This will also be displayed to my contacts. As an alternative, I can also insert a different reply email. If someone replies directly to my newsletter, the email will be sent directly to this address. Next, I'll choose a template for my newsletter. In the next videos, learn how to choose a template and work with it in the newsletter editor. Did you find this video helpful? If you'd like to see more videos like this one, subscribe to our YouTube channel.